Yeah, so we're, we're studying the, the idea of deep banding immobile nutrients, and in, in particular of interest here is, is phosphorus. So we've, we've always focused a lot on, on nitrogen fertility. Uh, the big thing that's changed over the last you know, 20, 30 years is, is zero tillage. So there's a concern regarding the stratification of, of phosphorus. So it's, it's really about the fact that we keep returning our soil residues on the soil surface. There's no, no more tillage, no more mixing of soil. So now that immobile phosphorus is becoming sort of a, a layer there. And you know, the top layer also dries out the first and fastest. So are, are we limiting our crop growth um, because of that uh, nutrient stratification? So the premise here then is, is that we're actually gonna go in once every three years and deep band our phosphor, phosphorus requirements. And, and then we're gonna put it down in an area that's got moisture soil, and that's more available to the root. So that's, that's what we're gonna be testing in wheat, canola, and peas. Uh, we're also looking at uh, other rather immobile nutrients like potassium and, and copper, but uh, we tend to have pretty sufficient amounts of both of those nutrients, so that's why phosphorus is, is still a big one. Some of our previous research uh, that we've been working on, we're noticing rather uh, that we have to get to pretty high phosphorus yields now. So we're, we're, we're producing bigger crops than we ever had. And, and it could be now that phosphorus is maybe one of our more limiting nutrients. Okay, so you, when you talk um, deep banding, how deep are we talking? Not traditionally, we have some numbers in mind, but, but what are you working yeah. with here? So the strip tillage guys, uh, Ontario and the Corn Belt, they're, they're often putting it 10 to 12 inches down. We, we're not gonna do that. We're kind of targeting that uh, five to six inch range. So we were able to achieve that just using a shank opener on a seed drill. So we had, we had a pair of stealth uh, openers and we were, we were banding it quite easily this spring. Uh, normally we'd like to do this practice in the fall, maybe let the, the ground mellow and then we've got a nice seed bed to, to go into in the spring. So the nice thing too is that we have more and more uh, good accurate guidance systems so you can literally put your, all of your, fertil your fertilizer down and seed right over top of it and not have to worry. So we, we've gotten into this realm of trying to put all of our fertilizer down in the springtime and that's when the soils are wet so you're you're loading up the the drills and you're compacting the soil so there's a lot of benefits to it in theory uh, the results uh, in the the other applications are mixed uh, first of all you need to have a deficiency to see a response but um, you know the, there's enough interest that uh, that they warranted a, a study and this is a study that's being led by Sarda Ag Research out of Falaire and we are also doing a, a third site with Alberta Inatech in, in Vegreville. So it'll be interesting to see. Now we've done our, our three, a three year deep banded treatments and then the other treatments, we're just gonna do the traditional shallow banded. So after three years, we'll see uh, which practice was better.